most limited edition Floette. I must catch it and add it to my Pokemon box. Hello YouTube! This is Chris Maniac bringing you folks another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. And this battle is an Enu match versus, you see it before my channel folks, Godwin. So looking at both of our teams, it looks like we have pretty standard Enu teams. I have my usual Fire Water Grass score, I have my Rapid Spinner, my Stealth Rocker, and Pokemon that attack. And my special wall and defensive wall. That's why I keep in mind when I make teams. Anyways, looking at Godwin's team, it looks like he has three Pokemon that are offensive and three Pokemon that are defensive. Um, those Pokemon being his Floet, Dustnoir, and his Pinaco. And his attacking Pokemon are his um, Pyroar, his Swoobat, and his Zangoose. So um, it's, that's good information to know for this battle. Anyways, out comes Simba right away. And I was expecting him to like stay in versus me because Golurk is not really the um, special wall on my team. But I know I can take one move, especially a Dark Pulse, and retaliate back with an Earthquake, smashing that Pyroar right away on first thing in the battle. So down goes the Pokemon right away. And I still have a Golurk ready to set up Stealth Rock, still at half health, and still good to go. Anyway, it's a simple sweep. He goes for a Shadow Ball right here. And um, yeah, I don't survive that. And I was expecting him to call mine or something, but I just stayed in, not wanting him to get a free call mine because a Subat with simple, and if that thing called mines, that thing hits really hard because it gets a plus two and um, a special attack, and plus two and special defense because simple doubles boosts up. Anyways, I go for the Volt Switch because he is threatened out by my move. I can just Volt Switch freely on his team because he has no ground type also. So I do just that. And his Florages, I mean, not Florages, his um, Floet rather. His MP for his team takes that really well. I can tell that's a special wall seeing that. Anyways, he knows his Dust Noir, and Dust Noir won't really appreciate Shadow Ball, and I can set up a sub on the switch that is really nice. I go for a Shadow Ball first thing, and that deals quite a bit of damage to his Dust Noir considering that it's a really bulky Pokemon. He goes for the Ice Punch, just just wanting to take away my um sub from um me. And I can just take that move really well because I I, I have a um substitute in front of my face. Anyways. He goes for that Shadow Snake, and I'm like, right, <laughs> I forgot that Dust Norris have Shadow Snake, so that was kind of a misplay on my part. I could have kept my um, my Hunter for later on, but nope, I guess that was a waste. Anyways, um, he brings in Flower Power again, and I bring in my, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Luxray, there you go. I go for the Crunch, expecting his Dustmore to stay in, but instead he switches in his Floette, takes the move really nicely, and this Floette is starting to um, like annoy me, it's walling my team, and uh, my Luxray is having a difficult time against it. If I went for a Wild Charge there, I would have done way more damage than the Crunch would do. Anyways, I just go for that Swords Dance, I want to switch, and he can't really do much to me, so he's forced to switch out, and he comes Dustmore, and he got Shadow Sneak me also, so... I can just go for that Horn Leech, deal a lot of damage to this Dust Noir. I don't care if he burns me, if he has a this, because I have a plus two, and that'll just bring me back to neutral um, attack. But he goes for Ice Punch right here, doesn't knock me out, and I can just go for the Horn Leech, knocking out this Dust Noir. So, that Dust Noir is out of the way, that's one bulky Pokemon, not in Goblin's team anymore. And my Sauce Bug is here, ready to destroy everything that comes in. And it comes Britney Spears, which is, a, which is a hilarious name for a Zangoose. And he goes for a Protect, and um, assuming that he has um, quick attack, he's fine to stay in here, but I'm hoping to not have him have quick attack, but he does have quick attack, and he finishes off my Sauce Buck right here. Which kind of sucks, because um, my Sauce Buck would have done a lot of work in his team if his Zangus wasn't in here. Anyways, I can outspeed this Zangus and smash it with something because I am a Scarf Luxray, and I intimidated him also, so he doesn't want to stay in. I think I'm Spiky Pine. His physical wall for his team, presumably, because, um, yeah, that takes it really well. And Fortress, it's older cousin, older brother, it takes physical but hits also, um, really well. So I'm gonna spread these spears again, and I'm just spamming Wild Charge at this point, and it does a lot of damage to Britney Spears' and Zangus. And Zangus gets wrecked by that, and it only has one move left in it, which is a quick attack. So, I switch out right here, I don't want to get Quick Attack to the face, so I bring in Ripley, and I was expecting him to just go for Quick Attack, and he could just die to his own poison, so that is great, and down goes Britney Spears to Zangus. I wonder why he named it Britney Spears, that's funny. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's female and it's a 
I don't know, never mind. Uh, but uh, somehow that really fits. I go for a Scald right here on this, spi on this Pinaco, and I get a crit burn, which is really nice. And this Pinaco gets an explosion anyways, but that explosion is really nerfed at this point because it has been burnt, and that only does like 10 damage to my Ivulite, uh, what's it called? More turtle, so that is really nice for me. That was really lucky in my part, but I guess it doesn't really matter anyways because explosion without burning would wouldn't do that much damage to me in the first place. So uh, he brings in his uh, simple sweeper, his swoobat, and his swoobat hits me with shadow ball, but I can take that nicely. And I can go for a wild charge, absolutely annihilating simple sweeper, and down it goes. I don't know why he stayed in there just to do damage to me, but I guess. He wanted to do damage to me, and he he like stacked off his uh um suat right there. But that was a really valuable member of his team, and he just snatched it. He, he just wasted it. What a waste. Anyways, in comes Flower Power. It survives my wild charge, and that's quite surprising because I'm adamant max attack. And that flo that fl um not flourishes, but um Floet is really really bulky. I guess if you like, it's really bulky. Um, even in the physical um, spectrum of uh, defense. Um, so I go for that other sort of way to destroy walls, which is to um, break them down slowly with residual damage, which in this case it's toxic. And I keep going for Scott right here, just trying to break this fluid down, just trying to destroy it, but um, I forgot that I had the aromatherapy, and aromatherapy would really help this thing out because now it's a full HP with its wish, and now it is um, aromatherapy, it is um, all healed up with its status effects. So, this part of the battle is kind of stally, he's just, I'm just trying to break him down slowly. Um, with Scald and Toxic, and he is just trying to take down my um, War Turtle by like uh, Moonblast to me. I like to take this opportunity to say that I'm planning to diversify my channel in the near future. Maybe like add uh, uh, more content, like different content other than Pokemon. And I'm interested if you guys are um, are interested in StarCraft 2. Like, do you guys know StarCraft 2? Do you play it? Because I want to post StarCraft 2 videos up on my channel also, because StarCraft 2 is the other awesome passion. It's a really fun game. You guys should, sh should check it out if you don't know it yet. Anyways, um, and this Stolly battle is still going on. He goes for the wish, and um, I'm, and he's still toxic, but that wish should bring him up to full HP once again. I'm just, I'm just scalding him, just trying to bring him down. And with that special attack drop earlier, I do even less damage to the Sloet. So at least that thing is at um, yellow health, but not for long, because it is going to get all his HP back with the wish. And I'm just at this point stacking off my War Turtle because War Turtle is kind of um, useless at this point because this Flobat is just gonna destroy my War Turtle slowly, which is right now, and down with my War Turtle. It, it, it has been an epic battle between War Turtle and Flobat, but now, like all good things, comes to an end, and that finally comes to an end, which is really good because that was getting really boring. Anyways, it's still toxic, which is great, and I'm putting forward a fuzz of pressure on this um, Flobat, and that Fire Fang does a lot to that thing, so. Um, he goes for that um, aromatherapy, and then I go, I go for the fire fang, just trying to break this um, thing down, like just trying to take it out. He goes for the one final um, moon blast against me, and that is a critical hit, and a special attack drop also. So this flood is showing some signs of um, defiance, but um, Godwin sees that this situation is hopeless because that's his last Pokemon left. So it's only like one HP, and he just forfeits the game. So that's a Really fun battle. I think that was a 1 or 2 0 victory in my favor. I hope, I hope you folks enjoyed a new battle. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you folks next time.